Now that App Script is your new best friend, it helps to know the difference between the types of App Scripts. So today, we're going to take a look at the difference between bound and unbound scripts on this episode of App Script in a Snap. So you're convinced that you want to try App Script because it's the best, and now you need to get started. That means you need to open the script editor. Fun fact, how you open the script editor is going to determine what sort of script you are working with. If you're already in a Google Doc or Sheet or Slide, et cetera, you can click Tools and Script Editor in the menu bar. This is actually how most people discover App Script because they are working in a document and realize they want to automate part of their work. Now, it is important to note some terminology here. When you click Script Editor, you are creating a bound script, a script that is tied to the document you are editing. As you share the document, the script is also shared, meaning anyone collaborating with you will be able to run your script or even edit it. But if you want to use that script in another document, you're out of luck. You're going to have to manually copy and paste it across. Bound scripts cannot be detached from their documents. But in exchange, they do gain a few special privileges to help navigate edits to that document, things like knowing the current active cell in a sheet or where a cursor is in a doc. Bound scripts are great at processing or formatting data in real time. For example, my favorite bound script is a custom menu option that, when you click it, it crops the spreadsheet to the cells that have been filled in, because I cannot stand accidentally scrolling to 1,000. Moving on, an unbound script, on the other hand, is a script that is not attached to any form of Google document. You can create these types of scripts by visiting scripts.google.com, and as you save them, they will appear as files in your Google Drive. OK, so second fun fact, script.google.com is also where you can see a dashboard of your various scripts, both bound and unbound, and review any execution logs. Unbound scripts are great for any automations or processes that need to be run regularly. For example, my team has an automated vacation calendar powered by a script that runs every night at midnight looking for vacation events on individual calendars and copying those to the team calendar. It's a great tool that literally none of us ever think about. The type of script you need will depend on how you're planning to use it. But remember, how you create your script is what determines whether it is bound or unbound. Subscribe to the G Suite YouTube channel for more great tips, and stay tuned for more App Script in a Snap.